the South Asian rivals have been waging parallel influence operations in Canada, according to Ottawa's top spy agency. Canada's main spy agency has accused India and Pakistan of trying to meddle in the country's last two general elections. The reports made public last week were presented as part of a federal commission of inquiry investigating interference by foreign nations, including China and Russia, in the 2019 and 2021 national votes. The Canadian Security Intelligence Service, CSIS, said India's government tried to interfere in the 2019 and 2021 elections using clandestine activities targeting certain electoral districts in the country and select politicians. The cheese in a separate document accused Islamabad of covertly trying to influence politics at the federal level before the 2019 elections to advance Pakistani interests. It is rare for governments to level allegations against other sovereign nations, and Canada traditionally has viewed both India and Pakistan as partners. But the accusations were leveled amid mounting tensions between Canada and India and a broader worry within Canada that foreign actors have been trying to shape its electoral outcomes. Here are the details of what the cheese alleged, and the implications. According to the cheese documents, reviewed by Al Jazeera, proxy agents of the Indian government tried to influence the 2019 and 2021 elections with the aim to align Canada's positions with India's interests on key issues, particularly with respect to how the goal, government of India, perceives Canada-based supporters of an independent Sikh homeland that they refer to as Khalistan. This, the cheese report alleged, was done through the clandestine provision of illicit financial support to various Canadian politicians as a means of attempting to secure the election of pro-goal candidates or gaining influence over candidates who take office. In some instances, the candidates may never know their campaigns received illicit funds, the report said. According to the documents, India's influence campaign focused on a small number of electoral districts that are home to Indo-Canadian communities that New Delhi views as supportive of the Khalistani separatist cause. The cheese alleged that India deliberately relies on Canadian and Canada-based proxies and the contacts in their networks for its operations because this obfuscates any explicit link between New Delhi and its influence efforts in Canada. Proxies liaise and work with Indian intelligence officials in India and Canada, taking both explicit and implicit direction from them. The report said, When news reports first emerged in February suggesting that Canada was investigating Indian electoral interference, New Delhi was quick to respond, describing the allegations as baseless. It is not government of India's policy to interfere in democratic processes of other countries, India's Ministry of External Affairs said. In fact, quite on the reverse, it is Canada which has been interfering in our internal affairs. We have been raising this issue regularly with them. We continue to call on Canada to take effective measures to address our core concerns. India-Canada relations took a hit last year after Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau accused the Indian government of being involved in the killing of Hardeep Singh Nijar, a Sikh separatist leader who was shot dead in June near Vancouver. The latest allegations are likely to only complicate ties further, especially as Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi gears up for a national vote that begins this month and could bring him back to power for a third time, said Rita Tremblay political scientist and emeritus professor at the University of Victoria. Tremblay referred to comments by India's foreign minister, S. Jayshankar, that while strained ties were not in the interest of either Ottawa or New Delhi, territorial integrity and the diasporic Khalistan separatism are core issues for India, and that it is Canada which is interfering in India's domestic politics rather the other way around. Based on the 2021 census, Canada is home to 1.4 million people of Indian ethic or cultural origin. The Chi said Pakistan's foreign interference in Canada was primarily to promote political, security and economic stability in Pakistan and to counter India's growing global influence. According to the assessment, Islamabad was a limited foreign interference actor in the 2019 and 2021 elections. Government of Pakistan foreign interference activities abroad are influenced by its turbulent domestic political, economic and security situation, as well as its long-standing tensions with neighboring India, the report said. The summary said previous interference activities by Pakistan included efforts to clandestinely affect the selection of and increase support for politicians and candidates who are perceived to be more pro-Pakistan or anti-India. Pakistan has not yet responded to the allegations made by the cheese. Unlike with India, Tremblay said she does not expect the allegations to affect Canada-Pakistan ties much. Although Canada and Pakistan enjoy a good but limited economic relationship, Canada has not hesitated to weigh in on the recent elections in Pakistan, condemning incidents of electoral violence and attacks on democracy, she said. At the same time, 
the allegations by the cheese could undermine Pakistan's ability to portray India as guilty of overseas influence operations without drawing attention to Islamabad too and could reinforce New Delhi's allegations of Pakistani support for the Khalistani cause, Tremblay said.